received a lot of uh, correspondence over the weekend from people that heard the broadcast, asked if we can talk more about it. They tried to call in, they couldn't get through. On the topic of is, um, is gambling a sin? And what does the Bible say about gambling? Now, let me just give you a couple of thoughts, and you're invited to call in, and I will say this. I'm not here to tell you my thoughts on the issue of what I think is right and wrong, because the bottom line is God's Word is what this is all about. Now, for those of you that like to, as a man called in Friday, he said, I'm a Christian, I've got no problem sitting down and playing poker or blackjack for four hours and I can keep a hundred dollars on the table etc I'm like really four hours later you're serving God and he's like well tell me in the Bible where it's a sin it's not it doesn't say in the Bible specifically that gambling is a sin there's a lot of things in the Bible and there's a lot of things that aren't in the Bible and because something is not in the Bible doesn't therefore mean it's not a sin what do we know about gambling? Well, the, the world knows that, that expression, money is the root of all evil, which is a reference to the Bible. I suspect a lot of people don't know that, but the literal, as you know, in First Timothy is the love of money is the root of all evil. How does this apply to gambling? Look, again, I'm interested in your calls more than me sharing my view on this, but it seems to me that uh, when we're talking about the love of money, uh, I think a good argument can be made that that kind of transfer over, transfer, transfers over into the issue of gambling. You know, we've taken um, calls in the past about the lottery, and do you play the lottery? Do you say and kind of say, well, if I, if I hit it big, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tithe a lot of money to my church. And my first thought is, really? <laughs> Really? Once you get that cash in your hand, let's see how much control you have or self-control. I think we make a lot of rationalizations in our head about the issue of gambling. But ultimately, what does God say? What's the Bible say about casinos and playing the lottery and, and, and on and on and on? So I want to share an email I, I, I got over the weekend, and um, then we'll just go right to the phones. 888-995-5552. A woman evidently, and I, she's anonymous, I won't say some of the specifics in her email, but somebody told her about the conversation we had on Friday. She says, um, thank you for your show on Friday. A friend told me about this Sunday as my husband was at a casino playing poker for 14 hours. He calls himself a Christian. He's qualified for a super large tournament hundreds of thousands of dollars, and which means he has spent at least 50 hours in this tournament so far. She says he's no stranger to the gospel. He went to ministry for a couple of years. He also goes and attends a particular church that will go unnamed with his wife. They've been there for five years, and so he knows about repentance, and yet he's adamant about playing in this tournament and playing poker. She also shares some personal items I don't think are appropriate to say, but she is really at odds about um, the concern she has for him and that she kind of insinuates at the end that he's got no consequences. And I wrote back, I said, of course he has consequences. God's not missing a thing. There's probably much more to this than your husband having a gambling addiction. So what is it about gambling? And what is it about those of us that maybe gamble and say, well, no, we're Christian. I'm good. We had a call a couple of weeks ago from a man that's a, a dealer in a casino, a poker dealer, and he called in, clear conscience, said, I've got no problem here. I even point people to church. And he said, poker is a game of skill. It's not about gambling. And, and I said, is money exchanged on the table? And he said, well, yeah. And I'm thinking... <laughs> I instantly went back and, and thought about my own addictions in life and my own ways of rationalizing and justifying certain behaviors and actions. It's so easy to do. 
It's, it's like we know the way sin is. The enemy just kind of whispers a little bit of an enticement to start. And once he's got that hook in your mouth, as my good friend, Pastor Tim Chattuck, who was here a week or two ago with his new book about temptation, he said, venture to guess that, use the example of a, a pastor that's stumbled and had an affair. He goes, safe to say he didn't think, wow, okay, I, I run a big church and, and I'm going to have an affair and ruin everything. You know, sin does not start that way. It starts with little things. And so let's circle back and pose the questions, is gambling a sin? 888-995-5552. And what does the Bible say about gambling?